The town of Ingleburg is this really cool small city that actually feels like a quaint mountain village. It's got a lot of vibe, it's got a lot of beautiful atmosphere. It's set in one of the most beautiful mountain valleys you could ask for. It's such a beautiful city and I just love it here. So getting out and departing from Engelberg, I set off for Alp Hobiel. There's a few places on the planet that just drop my jaw and are just incredible. This is certainly one of them. This is truly next level epic. One of the many perks of hiking here in Switzerland is the places to stay. So tonight I'm not tent camping. I've got a little bit of a more luxury accommodation. It's actually a homestay, kind of like a hostel with a family, an actual farm family that lives up here and maintains this beautiful building. So tonight I'm gonna to be treated well. And of course, there's a pretty spectacular view. So I'm participating in a little bit of the authentic farm life here in Switzerland. So Rudy here is about to go get the cows and bring a bunch of milk in. And uh, well, I don't even really know what I'm getting into, but he's looking pretty cool. We're gonna go have a little adventure. You guys wanna keep going? You know, the, the cows, I think they know authority, and I I don't have it out here. No, wrong way, hey, whoa. Let's go that way, come on. Let's go that way. Whoa, whoa, I ain't food. Come on, let's go, come on. I don't speak cow. Yeah, they, they listened to Ruedi and his son, but uh, I, I did my best. Hello. So Rueda here is just beginning to milk the first cow. And they've got 17 milk producing cows right now, three pregnant cows. And they're gonna make about 200 liters of milk per day here at this farm. It's kind of a wild process to see. Something that happens out here on a daily basis that I find to be quite beautiful is the tradition of the Alp Blessing. At sundown, Sepp, the most elderly figure here of the farm, every time at sundown, he gives the Alp Blessing. He takes out this big wooden amplifier, if you will, and sings his nightly benediction, his blessing, his appreciation for nature, for the cows, for the way that the day has gone, and to give a blessing to all of these things, the people, his neighbors, and I found it to be touching and endearing and truly beautiful. In Well, I'm leaving behind my homestay and heading on to where they will deliver the milk and we're gonna go make some cheese. This little local cheesery makes some really amazing cheese. And of course, it wouldn't be an authentic experience without getting my hands in the milk. It's pumping the cheese all the way over here. One thing that surprised me about the cheese making process was actually how quick and efficient this whole process is. It actually goes from milk to a product that is aging in a cellar in about two hours. This is fun. It was really actually quite exciting and interesting to see the process from start to finish. Tonight I get another special treat. Going to continue hiking up to an area known as Trubsi and going to be staying at a really sweet spot, just totally nestled into these rugged and gorgeous mountains up here. So I'm staying at this lodge that's up in the mountains and it's right at the base of Trubsi Lake. And it is this beautiful, 
glacier colored lake and I really wanted to get out and experience the lake. So I met up with Keely, who's a local guide here and he volunteered to take me for a little kayak cruise as it was perfectly still and calm to really get a chance to see the mountains and to experience this from the water. No trip to Engelberg would be complete without going to the top of Titlis. It is a huge, beautiful mountain, and there's all these gondolas that are also making their way up. And if you're coming here in the wintertime, it's one of the best areas to ski from. As soon as I make it to the actual top, I'm standing and just overlooking a vast sea of mountains in beautiful morning light. So this is pretty cool. We're on top of Titlis Mountain and you actually can hike under the glacier here. They've carved out this little tunnel and made it very accessible for lots of people. So if you've never had a chance to actually be in an ice cave, well, this is a pretty easy and beautiful one to see. You're literally under the glacier right now. As I'm staying here in Engelberg, you know, I'm looking up at these toothy, gnarly mountains. And of course, some of these peaks are calling my name. So I get up bright and early to make my way up the mountain because today I'm going for a Via Ferrata adventure. So, yeah, uh, we are at the beginning of the, the climb. It starts now. Yeah. All right. We have it, the ridge ahead of us. Starts pretty easy. Yeah. And uh, after that, it steepens up. Sounds cool. Yeah. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I've done some Via Ferratas before, so I'm feeling pretty comfortable. But as I get up there and actually see the route that Tobias is taking me on, well, I'm not gonna lie, there was a little bit of anxiety that starts to set in, thinking about actually climbing some of these almost more than vertical, leaning back rock faces. Look at this place. This is insane. Good job. Nice work. Well Pretty incredible experience up here, getting to climb one of the summits with Tobias. I love getting to be able to be on these places with exposure, kind of a mix of rock climbing and the Via Ferrata aspect gives you that sense of safety, but it's, it's serious business. And to overlook the Alps here, to be up here in the morning, to have a quiet place of solitude, truly an amazing experience. So being here in Switzerland has been remarkable. I've had such an amazing time here. And yeah, I'm deeply thankful for all the people I've gotten to meet, the cultural experiences, the food here has been insane. And of course, a fitting end is here on a mountaintop. top.